Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for fifth graders. Our concept is one and multiple step word problems. This is part five, where we will review estimating. Let's dive in. Remember fifth graders, good things comes to those who work hard. We have our fifth grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The links are in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and press the like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and also spread the word about Hype Math. We greatly appreciate your support. So let's do a review about estimating decimals. Remember, when estimating decimals, we are going to round to the nearest whole number. Remember, if the digit to the right of the place you're rounding to is less than 5, the digit in the rounding place stays the same. But if it's greater than or equal to 5, the digit in the rounding place increases by 1 or plus 1. Let's look at number 31. Mr. Marquez had 123 eggs in a refrigerator in his restaurant. He put 32 more cartons of eggs in the refrigerator. Each carton contained 18 eggs. Which of these is the best estimate of the number of eggs Mr. Marquez now has in his refrigerator? Is it F, 600, G, 400, H, 700, or J, 900? In order to solve this problem, the first thing I'm going to ask myself is, what am I looking for? We are looking for the best estimate of the number of eggs Mr. Marquez now has in his refrigerator. Now that we know what we're looking for, our next question is, what information can help us find the answer? And there are a few things. Number one, Mr. Marquez had 123 eggs in a refrigerator in his restaurant. Two, he put 32 more cartons of eggs in the refrigerator. And three, in each carton, it contained 18 eggs. So now that we have that information, how are we going to solve the problem? Well, number one, let's find the estimates of the numbers. Then we are going to multiply to find the total number of eggs in the cartons and we're going to add all of the numbers together. Let's dive into number one. We are going to find the estimates of the numbers. So for 123 eggs, this will be an estimate of 100 eggs. For 32 more eggs, of, cartons of eggs, that is equal to 30 eggs because because remember we're looking for 32 at the tens place so we look to the ones place since two is less than five the three stays the same and we just make the two a zero and lastly for each carton contain 18 eggs 18 will be rounded up to 20 because looking again the 10 the ones in our one, tens place, there's a one. I got tongue tied. In our tens place, there's a one. So we are going to look at the ones place. In the ones place, there's an eight. Since eight is greater than five, we said we plus one or increase the rounding place by one. So one becomes two, and that will be equal to 20 eggs. That is our first step. Let's look at step two. Now we are going to multiply to find the total number of eggs in cartons. So we know that Mr. Marquez put 32 more cartons of eggs in the refrigerator. We need, and we said that 32 will be, the estimate is 30. And for each carton, there are 18 eggs. That estimate is 20. I'm going to multiply 30 times 20 that is equal to 600 eggs for step two is 600 eggs now let's look at step three 
we need to add the numbers together. So let's not forget, not only do we have the 600 eggs that are in the carton, it also says that Mr. Marquez already had some eggs in the refrigerator. And when we found the estimate of 123, we said it was 100. So we have 600 eggs plus 100 eggs, and that is equal to 700 eggs. So what is the correct answer? Now that we know how, and we have our estimate of how many eggs Mr. Marquez now has in the refrigerator, I'm gonna look at my answer choices to see which one has 700 as the answer. And yes, it is H. Good job, fifth graders. Let's move to question number 32. Paula wants to buy three shirts and two belts. The shirts cost $16.89 each, and the belts cost $8.97 each. Paula has $45. Which of these amounts is the best estimate of how much more money Paula needs in order to buy the shirts and belts? Is it A, $16, B, $10, C, $24, or D, $5? And again, in order for us to solve this problem, our first question is, well, what are we looking for? We are looking for the best estimate of how much more money Paula needs in order to buy the shirts and belts. Now that we know what we're looking for, our next question is, well, what information can help find the answer? We have a lot of information. So number one, we know that Paula wants to buy three shirts and that the shirts cost $16.89 each. Next, we know that Paula wants to buy two belts and that the belts cost $8.97 each. And number three, we know that Paula has $45. So now that we have that information, how are we going to solve the problem? And do you see Ms. Jackson forgot to change that question? You guys know I like doing it on the live. How to solve the problem. Okay, in order to solve this problem, we have three steps. One, we need to find the estimates of the numbers. Step two, find the total amount for three shirts and two belts, and then we need to subtract the amount needed and the amount Paula has. So let's dive in with step one. So first we have the shirt cost $16.89 each. We are gonna find the estimate of $16.89 and round that up to $17 and the belts cost $8.97 each, and we are going to find that estimate, and that is $9. Let's move to step two. Find the total amount for three shirts and two belts. Okay, so we said, using our estimate, it's $17 times three shirts. That is equal to $51 for the shirts. And then for the belts, $9 times two belts, that means it's $18 for the belts. So let's add that together. $41 for the shirts and plus $18 for the belts is equal to $69. Now let's move to step three. We are going to take the amount that we need for the clothes, and again, we said that was $69, and subtract it from the amount of money Paula has, which is $45, and that is equal to $24. That is how much more money Paula would need in order to buy the belts and the shirts. So, now that we know that, what is our correct answer? What we need to do is look at our answer choices to see which one has $24 as the answer. And you are correct, the correct answer is C. And that is it, fifth graders, 
for Word Problems Part 5. Remember, we have our math and reading workbooks available for purchase in our store. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you later.